You have no excuses, right? I know. <laughs> oh, no, I no, no excuses. So what I do is I'll go in well, that's along not the side how of the belly. Was doing it. No, <laughs> most people don't do this, but because this is a bigger one, I went along the side. The belly fat, I don't like to eat anyway. Yep. Because it's kind of fishy tasting. Yep. So I just take and open that up there. Yep. Then you go in about a quarter inch behind the, the gill and you cut straight down, right? Yep. So then I open that up too, so then you can get this up the and then you up. get yep. right along the uh, backbone properly too. So this guy's a bit bigger. What are you feeling for when you're cutting so down is, there? The well, this is the backbone here, right? Okay. So I'm cutting, the toughest thing is getting that knife turned. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. So I just cheat. I use one finger to get that belly meat up there. And then you're cutting right along the backbone and you can feel it. I can hear it. You can hear it. Yeah. That's a little bit bigger one. So his bones are a little bit tougher, but yeah. I ride that backbone pretty hard so you don't waste any meat. Because that's the difference between... A big fish with lots of meat or a big fish with not much. So then that's your first fillet right there. Okay, yeah. and there's totally no different from bones in there? Yep, so there's bones in there still. Yeah. So we'll oh. take this one off this side. Okay. Dorothy, do you do this? No. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy does not do this. <laughs> Didn't you, aren't you in medicine or something? Yeah, in the office. <laughs> You're not carving into people or Is fish there or an animal? office part of filleting fish? She'll handle that. <laughs> yeah, well. maybe. Yeah. It's the same thing, right? Cheat, use my thumb. Apply for the license. <laughs> I'll schedule when we go fishing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's doing back. So same thing. Same it's thing it's about angle and staying along that backbone, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you watch your knife as you're coming up the bottom. Make yep. sure you come up on this side and of the side fin. Yeah, and the tail. So there you go. So you do end up leaving a little about bit. a quarter inch of meat. Yeah. That's... Um, I don't like that meat anyway because there's a row of cartilage in there mm -hmm. yep. and it actually doesn't taste good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's that. So that's it. The okay, rest of it just the, goes now on. Now is the interesting part. Now is, the, well, the rib part's easy. So let's like a little bit of spin here. So I just take the ribs out. Are oh, you just going against the, the meat and yeah okay. yeah so you just you go in right behind and then you actually lift your knife up and cut on the bottom edge of the rib bones okay no this is not how Corey did it no not not, not, not even, even close. close not even close it's that's like, why you're better off videoing a friend than looking on youtube so i know you know what you're doing so. i mean his fillets Corey, were like chunky no. and thin and yeah, weird and no, bony we, and we end up with five pieces of fish yeah yeah and you get lots of the like I call it the garbage meat. Yeah. Like no we offense, had... Corey. No, I mean he was <laughs> trying and Oh yeah, no. It's good, but I uh with pike especially I find if you eat anything like even the back here, there's yeah. that roll of cartilage in there. Yeah. When we deep fry fish, I'll end up splitting this fillet the whole way and, and I'll cut, cut that out. cartilage cut that right out. out. You know, and then the belly meat, it tastes really fishy. Some people don't mind it. I am not a fan. Hey, we got that uh, instant pot uh, air fryer. Oh yeah. yeah. We've yeah. just been experimenting with yeah. it. So there you got all all no. your rib bones out. That little bit of white there, that's just skin, right? Yeah, that's no so then I start about an inch from the end. Oh, and you're So you got okay. some place to hook a finger here. Yeah, and take it. And I can do that. I know how to take the hide off. Yeah, it's the same with any fish, right? Yeah. You've got to have a good sharp knife though. Yeah. So biggest thing with pike, biggest mistake people make, yeah. the slime yeah. is gross. <laughs> So first thing you do when you go to debone it, clean part of the table. You don't don't ever lay your like meat. Slice don't, it in there. Yeah. yeah, don't let your meat touch, touch that, that slime, slime ever. That's just a uh, rules. Uh, yeah, because like look at us, look at that snot, hey. Yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> number one. number one, right? I've yeah. seen guys that can fillet fish like crazy, yeah. and then they're they're handling the, the you know clean fillets with getting the slime previously. Stuff, yeah. So what do you do next to, next fish then? So you what I'll do is off? like I have these two fish, so I'll take them both to that point, and and then I'll take and I'll clean this off or get a piece of cardboard or whatever, and we'll get rid of there. this dirty glove, mm -hmm. and then I'll debone them. Right? Oh, so nothing, everything's clean by then. Everything's clean, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop it because.